So it's the end of a very long day here at CES, but we finished off with the big Sony press conference, and what we have behind me is the world's first prototype 56-inch OLED 4K TV. Now, this isn't going to go on sale yet, but Sony, which has previously just made professional monitors with OLED screens, is now looking at making this model. Uh, unlike the LG ones we saw earlier in the day, it is an OLED screen as well as being Ultra HD 4K. Also announced that in addition to its existing 84-inch 4K TV, it's got two smaller models, guess what, 55-inch and 65-inch, just like LG, coming out later this year. Of course, the big problem with 4K is that everyone keeps saying, well, there's no content, so what are we going to watch on it? Well, Sony's answered that one this evening because it's going to start the distribution online of 4K content to its customers, and it's also announced that it's going to start mastering certain Blu-ray films with 4K resolution films from Sony Pictures. So all of that is a big development for 4K TV. We also saw the first of their new flagship smartphones, the Xperia Z, or Z as they say in America, and that will have one-touch control, so you can actually just swipe it across a speaker or a compatible product and it will transfer music directly from the phone to that product. However, one thing we didn't see any news about was any new tablets from Sony, which was something of a surprise. Given that Apple has launched the iPad 4 and the iPad mini, we thought we might see an upgrade or an improvement to the Tablet S. No news on that so far, but we've got a tour of the Sony stand tomorrow, so we'll find out more news about that if we can. In the meantime, check out the latest news breaking here at CES 2013 on whatHiFi.com.